The Silent Grove The landing on Kepler 283C was supposed to be routine, an expedition to collect samples from the lush, Earth-like exoplanet. The team, led by Commander Terra Vos, had expected towering forests and rivers brimming with alien life. They hadn't anticipated the silence. Nothing moves here, muttered Dr. Alam Reyes, scanning the dense, emerald canopy. No birds, no insects, nothing. As they ventured deeper into the forest, they found the first signs of life or death. Skeletons of massive creatures lay scattered, their bones etched with strange grooves. Voss ordered caution, but curiosity drove the team forward. They stumbled upon a grove where the trees glowed faintly, their bark shimmering with iridescent patterns. At the center stood an enormous obelisk, pulsating with an eerie, rhythmic hum. Reyes reached out to touch it, but Voss pulled him back. No contact until we know what we're dealing with. A low, guttural sound echoed around them. Shadows shifted between the trees, revealing creatures that seemed to materialize from the forest itself. They were tall, with elongated limbs and chitinous exoskeletons that reflected the grove's light. Defensive positions. Voss barked, but the aliens didn't attack. Instead, they emitted a series of clicking sounds, their eyes locking onto the humans. Reyes activated a translator. They're warning us to leave. The grove's hum grew louder, resonating through their bodies. One of the creatures stepped forward, its clawed hand pointing to the obelisk. It's not a structure, Reyes realized, his voice trembling. It's alive. The ground beneath them quaked, and the obelisk's glow intensified. The team ran, but Voss turned back, watching as the aliens bowed before the pulsating entity. They're not protecting the grove, she whispered. They're worshipping it. A blinding light erupted from the obelisk, and the team barely escaped. When they reached their ship, the grove had vanished, leaving only an empty crater. From orbit, the planet seemed unchanged. But in the silence of space, Voss couldn't shake the feeling that something was watching them, waiting for their return.